uh, we are going to continuous slope refraction method. Okay. So analyze a continuous beam. So on middle figure. If support B is support B sinks by higher and support C sinks by two M. Also draw bending moment and see your portion diagram. Use slope reflection method. Uh, is given minute e is given equals to two into ten is to five newton per one square. And I also given that is moment of inertia that should be equals to 16 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Okay, so let me draw first of all beam. This is the uh, this kind of beam is given. This is a point A, this is point B, this is point C, and this is point D. In A to B, there is a uniformly distributed load is given. Intensity of load is 10 kilonewton per meter, and length of AB member is 4 meter. In B to C, there is a point load is given, central point load given for BC span. 20 kilonewton point load is given. B, this say this point is E and B2E is a 2 meter. This length is 2 meter and this length is also 2 meter. And in a C2D, there is a eccentrical load is given, say 10 kilonewton. This length is 1 meter and this length is 3 meter. I hope data is clear to all of you. Please confirm me. And additionally, data given that. Support B sink by 5 mm. That means your support B sink by 5 mm and your support support C sink by 2 mm. I hope data is clear to all of you. Please confirm me. Data clear. Is it clear? Please confirm it once in chat box. Charlie, let me calculate first of all fix and moment. So calculate fix and moment, same procedure. If I am consider span AB, so we have fix and moment MF AB. AB is subjected to uniformly distributed load. So that's the reason your uh, fix and moment will be a minus WL square by 12. Please calculate and give me answer. What is the value of WL square by 12? W equal to 10. Length equals to four meters square divided by 12. Please tell me what is your what is the what is the final answer? Mm 
Please tell me. Okay, good. Minus 13.33. Minus 13.33 kilonewton meter. Similarly, MFBA, your equation will remain same. Plus WL square by 12. So, same equation will be there. That's the reason I am writing directly 13.33. I hope it is clear to all of you. Similarly, MFBC. MFBC, there is a central load. So your fixed moment is a minus WL by eight. I hope it is, uh, it is clear to all of you and all of you are remember this equation. WL by eight, W equals to 20, length equals to four, divided by eight. So I, uh, Minus 10 kilometer meter is the answer. Yes, good. Similarly, MFCB, that should be equals to plus WL by, it will remain same 10 kilometer meter. Next. For span CD, MFCD, eccentrical load is given. So equation will be a minus W A B square by L square. I hope this equation also all of you are remember. So for a for a span CD, if I am consider like this, W is a load. This is a, a this is a B. Okay. Say this point is C and this point is D. So W equals to 10 kilonewton. A equals to one meter. B equals to three meter square divided by four square. And its value will be a, yes, minus 5.625, minus 5.625 kilonewton meter. Next. MFDC. That should be equals to plus W B A square by L square. Your W will be a 10 B 3 A 1 square divided by 4 square. Please tell me what is your final answer? 1.875 kilometer. Yes. 1.875 kilonewton meter now before starting further calculation let me calculate e into y okay where, uh, where it is required i will discuss later on e into y in data given that e equals to 2 10 to 5 newton per m square so 2 into 10 to 5 multiply by 16 10 to 6 unit of e was newton per m square Unit of I was mm raised to four. So your resulting unit of EI, that should be a, uh, this is a fin final value will be a 32, 32 into 10 raised to 11 Newton into mm square. I hope it is clear to all of you. But in your data, load is given in kilonewton, length is given in meter. So you need to convert this value into kilonewton meter square. Can anyone tell me what is uh, uh, one one kilonewton equals to how, uh, how much newton or relation between newton meter, newton and and kilonewton? Can you tell me? Do you have a relation? One kilonewton equals to thousand newton. Yes or no? One kilonewton. That is equal to 1000 Newton. And can anyone tell me what is the relation between mm and meter? One millimeter that is equal to One meter that is equal to thousand mm. I hope it is clear. <coughs> Sorry, clear enough. Please confirm me. Chalye. So we need to convert this newton into kilonewton. 
so uh, so for that for that we need to divide by thousand yes or no for that we, we need to divide by thousand yes or no please confirm me 30 into 10 is to 11 it's not clear eh? divided by thousand that means divided by 10 is to 3 multiply by we need to well, now uh, we need to convert meter in meter in uh, sorry mm into meter apna uh, value mm we need to convert into meter so what we will do can anyone tell me Just a minute. Now we need to convert this value into meter. So we have a value in a mm. So now just correlate here a uh, thousand mm. That should be equals to one meter. So we need to convert 32 into 10 raised to 11 mm square into meter. So can I write this 32 10 raised to 11? I will write x. So x will So we need to divide by 1000, yes or no? We need to divide by 1000, yes or no? But we have a square of mm. Mm square, that's, that's the reason we need to divide 1000 square. 1000 square, that is nothing but that is nothing but 10 is to 3 square. That means 10 is to 6. Clear? Please confirm me. Clear? 1000 square, that is nothing but 10 is to 6. Okay, so our final answer will be here. Our final answer will be here. 32 into 10 is to 11 into, can I write like this? 10 is to minus 9? Yes or no? So can I say that? I am writing here. EI equals to EI that should be equals to 32 into 10 square. That means 3 to double zero like now, kilometer meter square. I hope it is clear to all of you. Clear? This concept is clear. Fine. Now, this relation will be applicable in a structural analysis one also. Okay. So keep in mind uh, if it uh, if it is applicable. Uh, uh, some points right Chali. so now next procedure will be same uh, writing down the slope deflection equation for each and every joint so now let me uh, for a joint a so now in data is given that in data is given that your support be sink by 5 mm so can i can i uh, draw like this this is the point a this is your point B. Okay. This is your point B. So your point B is sink. Sink that means deflect. Deflect by 5 mm. So in that uh, for that, can I draw like this? Deform shape is just like this. Yes or no? So for that, I need to apply downward force here. We need to apply upward force here. Is it clear? Concept is clear. Our support B is sinks by phi mm. Sinks that means deflection in downward direction by phi mm. So we need to apply uh, now uh, uh, your support B. This is support B and this is support A. Support B sinks phi mm downward. Okay, this delta equals to phi mm downward. So for that, we need to apply load in downward direction for point B. Yes or no? And to balance. To balance this force, we have apply upward force here. So just rotate these two arrow at a time. We will get clockwise moment. Clear? These two arrows ko, I am cutting red color. Se cut kar raha hun. Ye dono arrows ko ek saath rotate kijiye. You will get a clockwise moment. Yes or no? Due to due to end reactions, due to deflection. Confirm kijiye. Itna clear hai. Students. Yes, sir. Okay. So now to balance this clockwise moment, we need to apply anti-clockwise moment. I, I think this concept also discussed in very first lecture of slope deflection. Okay, if I am not wrong. To balance these two uh, reaction moment, 
we need to apply anti clockwise moment so moment generated due to the deflection that must be anti clockwise for both end please confirm me is it clear or not so let we let we now here we are not required here we are not required moments but this moment will be applicable while uh, uh, while considering the moment distribution method okay so in this case we need to consideration of the we need to consideration of the delta either we will consider delta is a positive or delta will be a negative chaliye pehle hum equation likh dete hain mab that should be equals to mfab equation will remain same plus 2 ei divided by l multiply by twice theta a plus theta b minus 3 delta by l i hope all of you remember this equation yaad hai na ye equation yaad hai ye equation now just tell me suppose i am cutting section here so this this force just a minute this downward force at point b it will be on right side or left side tell me this downward force will be on right side or left side ye wala force maine yahan pe b point pe section cut kiya hua hai in that case this force will be visible on right side or left side tell me y left side humne section yahan pe cut kiya hua hai and this force is actually acting on point b itself point b pe lag raha hai it will be on right side okay it will be on right side so you all remember sine conversion of shear force bending moment section ke right and left side or right side left side upward positive downward negative right side downward positive upward negative so which kind of load is visible here this load actually on right side this load actually on right side and on right hand side downward force will be considered as a positive so we will consider this delta as a positive is it clear is it clear please confirm me how we have interpreted the sign conversion itna clear hai i am repeating this concept again i am repeating this concept again in in general context suppose i am considering the such this kind of beam this reaction this reaction this reaction now just let we apply this concept for each joint up huh? for each joint suppose i am cutting a section point at point a now purpose of the cutting a section to, to to see the point okay to see the point so uh, for that purpose at which location section to be considered on point or just away from the point tell me hum point ke upar hi section cut karenge ya point se thoda dur section cut consider karenge requirement is that to see the point so we will plot a section just away from the joint yes or no because main point pe section cut karunga to mere ko point nahi dikhega yes or no sahi hai na so we will cut a section just near a point a so now tell me this force will be on left side or right side for point a for point a this force is on left side or right side tell me सिंपल है बहुत सिंपल है यस लेफ्ट साइड ठीक है चलो सिमिलरली ना ओवर मेन पर्पज इज टू कट सेक्शन एट पॉइंट बी सो फ्रॉम सी सींग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड अवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू सी द पॉइंट बी सो वी विल कट सेक्शन जस्ट लाइक दिस यस ऑन जस्ट अवे फ्रॉम द पॉइंट बी सो इन दैट केस दिस पोस्ट विल बी ऑन लेफ्ट साइड और राइट साइड अगेन this force this to both force on uh, left side but this force will be on right side yes or no c wala load right side pe dikhega now my question is that at point c at point c at which location we will cut a section at at this location or at this location tell me main yahan pe a likh raha hu aur b likh raha hu 
कौन सा कौन सा सेक्शन लाइन हमको कंसीडर करना पड़ेगा ए वाला सेक्शन लाइन कंसीडर करना पड़ेगा या बी वाला सेक्शन लाइन कंसीडर करना पड़ेगा क्वेश्चन इज दैट यस गुड ए वाला बिकॉज एट पॉइंट योर ज्योमेट्री इज फिनिश आपका ज्योमेट्री यहाँ पे खत्म हो जाता है तो इन दैट केस वी आर नॉट एबल टू कंसिडर सेक्शन लाइट लाइन आफ्टर द ज्वाइंट ठीक है सो इन दैट इन दिस केस वी नीड टू कंसिडर सेक्शन लाइन जस्ट बिफोर द ज्वाइंट नाउ दिस डिस्टेंस इज अ वेरी निग्लेजिबल डिस्टेंस सो इन दैट केस टेल मी दिस दिस फोर्स विल बी ऑन लेफ्ट साइड और राइट साइड नाउ टेल मी चलिए यहां पे आपका डाउट शायद क्लियर हो जाएगा नाउ दिस पॉइंट विल बी ऑन लेफ्ट साइड लेफ्ट साइड और राइट साइड नाउ टेल मी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस सेक्शन लाइन ना विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस सेक्शन लाइन ये वाला राइट साइड राइट साइड ठीक है नाउ आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो ऑन राइट हैंड साइड now i am we are mentioning the shear uh, uh, force sign conversion from that you will remember uh, when delta will be considered positive and when delta will be considered negative okay so now if we are plotting the diagram if we are plotting the deflect now the, actually this is your deformation diagram okay and it is we can clearly uh, tell that suppose your point b is a sink by delta in that case we need to apply load at point b in downward direction to resist this load We, we need to apply load at b in upward direction so now this kind of the situation developed due to this only yes or no yes or no so in that case on right hand side we see here downward reaction and on right hand side downward force that is a positive i hope it is clear to all of you now here we are interpret the value of delta in reaction no? so that's the reason we will consider delta as a delta as a positive i hope it is clear to all of you is it not clear hai? सो नाउ आपको ये याद नहीं रखना है सिंपल ये फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट से डेल्टा का वैल्यू प्लस है या माइनस है डिसाइड करना है ठीक है सो हियर डेल्टा इज इक्वल्स टू 5 एमएम नाउ इन डेटा आवर ऑल वैल्यूज आर इन मीटर हमारा सभी वैल्यू मीटर में है यस ऑनो इन डेटा आवर ऑल वैल्यूज आर इन मीटर सो दैट्स द रीजन व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल कन्वर्ट दिस डेल्टा इनटू मीटर सो वी कैन से दैट इज नथिंग बट 0. Double zero five meter. Is it clear? Is it clear? चलिए सभी value place करते हैं M F A B M F A B that should be equal to we have already calculated M sorry एम एफ ए बी माइनस थर्टी पॉइंट थ्री थ्री यहाँ पे एम ए बी आएगा फूड वैल्यू ऑफ एम एफ ए बी दैट इज नथिंग बट माइनस थर्टी पॉइंट थ्री थ्री प्लस टू ई आई डिवाइडेड बाई एल इन लेंथ फॉर ए बी स्पॉन्ट दैट इज फॉर मीटर फूड दैट वैल्यू टू ई आई बाई एल मल्टीप्लाय बाय मल्टीप्लाय बाय टू थीटा नाउ टेल मी व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा फ्रॉम डायग्राम व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा दिस इज द पॉइंट ए टेल मी व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा जीरो गुड ओके ड्यू टू फिक्सिटी योर स्लोप एट ए इज जीरो प्लस थीटा बी इट इज इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कैलकुलेट माइनस माइन अगेन योर डेल्टा इज अ प्लस सो देयर इज नो नीड टू चेंज दिस साइन This is a by default sign, uh, uh, which is comes during the derivation of the equation. So three into delta, zero point zero zero five divided by length. कितना length है four meter. Clear है चलिए. So we can say m a b that should be equals to two by four. That is nothing but point five. Okay. Minus thirteen point three three plus. Two by four. That is nothing but point five point five e i theta b zero point five e i theta b minus. चलो पहले ये वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट कीजिए three into zero point zero zero five divided by four. So ये ये वैल्यू आपका आएगा this value. Ah, uh, please convert your calculator into three digit. You will get zero point zero zero four. Okay. Please convert your calculator into three digit. Mode button को press कीजिए. तीन या दो तीन या चार बार press कीजिए. आपको एक 
फंक्शन देखेगा फिक्स का वन नंबर फिक्स और फिक्स कर दीजिए तीन पे यू विल गेट ऑलवेज थ्री डिजिट आंसर ओके सो माइनस नाउ योर वैल्यू दिस वैल्यू विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू बाय फोर कीजिए सो मल्टीप्लाई बाय पॉइंट फाइव यस ऑनो और वी है ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेट ई आई आई का वैल्यू कितना है थ्री टू डबल जीरो सो मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री टू डबल जीरो सो वी विल गेट सिक्स आई होप इट इज क्लियर मैं यहाँ पे वैल्यू लिख रहा हूँ थ्री इन टू मैं यहाँ पे बायोकेट कर रहा हूँ जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू ई आई बाई फोर दैट मीन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू बाई फोर दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री टू डबल जीरो ओके इसका वैल्यू सिक्स आएगा सो माइनस सिक्स माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री सो अवर वैल्यू विल बी है माइनस नाइनटीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ये हिटा भी प्लीज कन्फर्म में दिस इज क्लियर ऑन ऑन दिस इज क्लियर ऑन ऑन ये क्लियर है ये वाला स्टेप क्लियर है ये वाला स्टेप क्लियर प्लीज कंफर्म मी कैन वी मूव हेड फॉर बी ए देर आर नाइन स्टूडेंट इन रूम प्लीज प्लीज बी एक्टिव इन लेक्चर otherwise it is difficult for you only ai ka value put nahi kar sakta ye ai ka value abhi place karne ki zarurat nahi hai for particular theta b ke liye why not because uh, once we will get a theta b our value of theta b in term of ai yes or no yes or no okay suppose we will get ai theta b in term of ai so uh, uh, whenever we will we will put a value of theta b your ei will be automatically cancel out fine that's the reason uh, uh, we are uh, we are uh, writing equation of uh, this slope reflection equation in term of the ei theta b clear hai chali now next m b b a Now, the, uh, delta plus वाला जो जो इंटरप्रिटेशन है पूरे स्पान के लिए कॉन्स्टेंट रहेगा यानी कि ए बी स्पान के लिए हम कोई भी जॉइंट पे मोमेंट कैलकुलेट करेंगे वहां पे डेल्टा का वैल्यू पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव ही रहेगा क्लियर सो लेट वी अप्लाई सेम इक्वेशन एम एफ बी ए प्लस टू ई आई बाई एल ट्वाइस ठीटा बी प्लस ठीटा ए माइनस थ्री डेल्टा बाय एल Put all the values. Sari values place करिए. So M B A. That should be equals to. What is the value of M F B A plus thirteen point three three? See here. M F B A plus thirteen point three three. Plus two E I divided by four. Your theta A again zero. We need to calculate theta b to theta b minus three into zero point triple zero double sorry double zero five divided by length is again four meter. Okay, I hope it is clear to all of you. So let me calculate this again. So our value m b a thirteen point three three. Now, two into two four by four. That means we uh, we can write here e i theta b. I hope it is clear to all of you. Minus now, ये वाला value तो same ही रहेगा. Yes or no? ये वाला value same ही रहेगा. हमने six calculate किया हुआ है. That's that's why I am I am writing here minus six. ठीक है ना? Clear है? Please confirm, my students. I hope it is clear to all of you. So we will get m b a. That should be equals to thirteen point three three minus six. That that means we will get we will get. Seven point three three, okay. Seven point three three plus e i theta b. I hope it is clear to all of you. This is your equation number b. This was the equation number a.
दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर बी चलिए नेक्स्ट सेम वे वी विल कैलकुलेट फॉर जॉइंट फॉर अ जॉइंट बी बट फॉर अ स्पान बी सी ओके बीसी स्पान के लिए कंसीडर करते हैं चलिए नाउ फॉर दैट योर जॉइंट बी एंड जॉइंट सी बोथ आर सी ओके चलिए पहले हम यहां पे दिखा देते हैं जॉइंट बी इज सिंक बाय फाइव एम मैं यहां पे लिख रहा हूं जॉइंट सी इज सिंक बाय टू एम एम यस ऑनो सो इसका नेट निकालेंगे इसका नेट निकालेंगे तो कितना आएगा टेल मी इसका नेट निकालेंगे तो नेट रिफ्लेक्शन कितना होगा टेल मी यहाँ पे पांच एम का डाउनवर्ड हो रहा है जस्ट मैं स्टूडेंट होल्ड ऑन 